believe me, but there really is an art to this. You need to watch closely though. It's kind of tricky. Rough riding, part two. <laughs> part do. Deuce, go, whatever. Hey babe, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Yeah. You do mind? <laughs> flat in the rear this morning so she's gonna get some air some major windage here today in the words of John Wayne. The Farmer's Edge weather station. It's getting a little workout. At least it's not rain though. I'm gonna look at the app and see what the gusts are. That'll be fun. Definitely getting a workout. So according to the Farmer's Edge weather app, weather station app, we're getting gusts of 20 miles an hour. That's a lot of wind for North Kakalaki. But it also means mud drying up. That's some good mud drying weather. Sunshine, 20 mile an hour wind. So we'll take it. Mm -hmm. There's actually not any more rain in the forecast until next Saturday. That's six days away. That would be a record here lately. Yay. Clap. I'm clapping with one hand. Okay. Sweet. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> we, um, I have not done any cooking on here lately, and I'm about to make something. I'm about to make my second pie in two days. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would share that with you. We don't have any chickens. People have asked in the past why we don't have chickens. We live on a farm, so we're supposed to have chickens, evidently. I just don't really like chickens. I think I've told y'all that before. Anyway, they're just not really my thing. But I do love fresh eggs, and I do have a good friend who has chickens who has been giving me lots of fresh eggs. So, today, I'm going to make an old southern staple it might not just be southern i don't know but anyway it's called chess pie it's basically eggs sugar flour vanilla i don't know dash of salt something else anyway so that's what we're gonna make right now okay hang tight i found this recipe and um my old church cookbook the one with the cover that's not still on and the tabs that my mom had in it and her handwriting and it's a treasure. Um, it's not her recipe, but it is a good recipe because it was good last night and we ate the whole thing. So I'm making another one because <laughs> that's what you do. When you run out of one pie, you make another pie. Um, yeah, brown sugar, eggs, butter, flour, milk, vanilla, salt. 
Thank you. Donna Pruitt. I'm also going to show you my very favorite way to make pie crust. You need to watch closely though. It's kind of tricky. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready for this? You take it out of the freezer and you put it on the counter for 50 minutes or three hours, whatever. Oh, and sometimes you get a hole in it, but you just pinch that back together and you plop it in a pan, a pan that's too small for it maybe. Okay, and then um, you can take the edges and you can roll them under and um, try not to lose your Band-Aid from where you cut yourself with a knife the other night trying to cut potatoes. Remember that one time on here where I lost a Band-Aid in my food? Yeah, I, we won't go there again. Anyway, um, just try to keep that out of there. Oh, look, that's pretty gross, isn't it? So you can just do that. Oh, this, this is, last night I used a bigger pan. Anyway, you can just kind of do this. And then um, you can get really fancy and you can take a fork and you can do this. And nobody will ever know that it's not homemade. Unless you make a video of it and put it on YouTube. It's beautiful. You think I can do this one handed? We're gonna see. Is that eggshell? Or, yeah, that's eggshell. Okay, it's all good. That's talent right there, y'all. Oh, crap. Okay. It's all good. Again. Hmm. This is another time I need to go throw on my head. <laughs> so the recipe actually calls for three eggs, but I'm only using two because they were big and my pan is not very big. All right, so two eggs, two big eggs, one stick of melted butter, and you're gonna need two cups of brown sugar, and um, I'm not very exact when it comes to measuring. I just, you know, whatever. This recipe is forgiving. Well, it was last night, so hopefully it will be today too. Two tablespoons of flour. Also, forgiving. So see y'all, this is why I really consider myself more of a cook. Definitely not a baker because I detest measuring. I don't even know what it is. Um, I don't know why I don't like to measure things, but I just don't, I don't have the patience. Not a perfectionist. Probably has something to do with the fact that I don't like to fill my truck up with gas. Like, I don't know what it is. Just something about those things bothers me. It calls for a half a cup of milk, but I'm going to be rogue and use half and half. Because why use milk if you have half and half? Good question. And two teaspoons of vanilla, which is going to be something like Okay, now we're going to pour the imperfectly measured batter into the imperfectly pinched pie crust and bake at 350 for about 35-ish minutes and see what we get. Well, I'm not sure, y'all. It's getting a little brown and it's a little jiggly, so this one might not be as good as the one I made yesterday that I didn't video which was in a much larger thing, so maybe that was why. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh. So, 
this morning we have some frozen mud, which is in a way good and in a way not good. <sighs> She's rough. Hanging on. I'm watching my head. <laughs> not frozen for the tractor <laughs> I don't know maybe a little bit but I reckon it's better than it was yeah so we have some semi 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 however you say that partially frozen mud this morning for sure what do you girls think I don't know it's hard to walk on in it, but it's better. I think it's better. Okay, I'm putting this away. My hand's cold now. <laughs> it's another frosty morn. I hear you, Elmo. According to the weatherman, the wind chill is 12, which is cold for us, y'all. I know a lot of y'all think that's like a heat wave but it's not here. <laughs> Good morning, Elmo. Are you ready for a warm bottle? Get your belly warm? Mm-hmm. Yes, mom. Yes, ma'am. Everybody, good morning. <laughs> Ice frozen. That won't do, will it, buddy? All right. <laughs> See you later, Gator. It's a mitten morning, isn't it, Bonnie? Bonnie said, I don't have any mittens, Mom. No, but you can sit in the warm truck while we feed. <laughs> She said she'd give me about 20 hours to stop that. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I think a dog would literally just let you sit there all day and rub their head, right? It'd be nice, Mom. It'd be nice. Bonnie said she smells a rat. Where is it, girl? Get it, girl. Where is it? <laughs> 
since it's so frozen and rough this morning we're just gonna do it by hand yeah. by how things change in a couple days rough riding part two <laughs> part do do's go whatever come on girls and boy juice definitely gonna be a cold start for the back of this morning yep I'm sitting right here with my best sidekick right Bonnie blue I see you You need any help? Do you need any help? No answer. got word we're gonna go on back to the house that tire needs to be fixed like for real <laughs> um, we're still having tire issues we tried slime and it didn't work so are we gonna have to just replace it well 
I'm going to have to take it off and put a patch in it. Oh, patch. <sighs> Always something. Yep. And this, my friends, is a whole different type of mud. This is solid. Frozen solid. Okay, I'm going to stop before I bust my butt. Y'all might not believe me, but there really is an art to this. See? It looks like it won't go in the bucket, but it's just right. shuffle now taking the tractor in the silage wagon back over there he said he's probably gonna have to patch that tire but it's got all this slime in it and that's gonna be a pain to clean and oh well <laughs> oh it seems like we've gone a few weeks or more without any kind of tire issues so that's unheard of around here <laughs> Always something. Well, that's one way to eat. <laughs> and stay out of the mud or the frozen mud. <laughs> over there. He sees this gate open. <laughs> that sun feel good, Bonnie? Yes, it does. Okay, well, tire's not holding. So we're going to go plug up the little compressor to get us through feeding, and then he's going to have to get it fixed today. Yay! Get out and stretch your legs, little little girl. All Partially frozen mud has its own complications. Oh jeez. So much spinning. And yeah, I guess now is one of those times where it would be really nice to have horrible trap tractor. Oh bless. This is not going well. Got it. Shoo. check it and see if he needs to patch it. All right, Bonnie, I think now we're gonna go do a little barley scouting, see how it's coming along. And the plan is for me to do a little Q&A with the farmer, non-scripted. He doesn't really know that, but that's my plan. So 
we'll see how that goes. <laughs> ain't been after no rats this morning, have you? No, Daddy, it's too cold. Been hanging out in the truck. Okay, we're going to look at some barley. Hey, babe, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Yeah. You do mind? <laughs> Ooh, we gotta come out of some clothes, it's hot in here. Oh, that's all though. <laughs> that didn't sound good. <laughs> or maybe it did, I don't know. Anyway, you got one of my hairs on your face. Um, okay, let's see. I get lots of questions, so I thought I would let you answer some of them. Okay? All right, I'm just gonna run through some, let's see. Um, okay, one I get asked all the time, I'm gonna let you answer it. How many cows and how much land do you have? It's like asking a man how much money he's got. <laughs> well, the cows, you got too many when you're feeding them, not enough when you're selling them. <laughs> the only land, you ain't never got enough. All right. He would make a great politician, except not really, because he would make a lot of people mad. But. There's a difference in the two of us. He doesn't care, do you? He doesn't care at all what anyone thinks of him. I think we go. We ought to be able to take it if we can't deal with it. <laughs> yeah, be an adult. Okay. Let's see. What else? Um, how did you and I ever come to be? I think we met in a feed store. We did meet in a feed store, yeah. And the rest is history in the making. Um, oh, the mud. I've been getting a lot of questions about the mud with the cows. If it hurts their hooves, if we have a lot of hoof rot. So far, we ain't had no problem. Yeah. Once you run into a whole lot of times, when it starts freezing like this, they get scuff marks on the top of the hoof. Then if it's bacteria in the mud, they may get a little fried. But so far, I've been real fortunate. I ain't had, never had no problem much with it. Yeah, all right. Okay, here's a question I have. If you, if you could be doing anything, what would you want to be doing? Or is this your dream job? Counting money. <laughs> My money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> so you got to worry about that job, though. No. Or so, you're getting fired from it. No, you don't have to about worry about getting fired. He did say the other morning before we rolled out of bed that he thought we should call in sick. How did that go? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get no response. We're okay. <laughs> Here's some of the barley. And I mean, yes, it's been cold, but it was already up good enough for it not to matter, right? It's <laughs> good to me. So what are we gonna do with the barley? Hopefully we combine two seals and the, this bearded barley and the, other 35 acres of non bearded hope we cut it for hay. What's the um, maturity time on this? Like, when should it be ready? Mm -hmm. June. Not, not until June? When it come, when it come by. Oh. Last of May, first of June. Okay. Like I say, being planted late, it's hard to see. Depends on the weather. It all depends on the weather. We need to get some fertilizer on it. How warm it gets and on it. Always depending on the weather. Yeah. Too hot, too cold, too dry, too wet. That's farming. The twos and the ducks eat it up. The twos and the ducks eat it up? That's right. <laughs> what does that mean? It's two something all the time or either deduct this or deduct that or deduct that. <laughs> 
ducks and the twos in the uh, I don't think I've heard that one before. If you didn't catch that, he said the twos and the ducks eat it up. Too much to this, deduct this, and deduct that. I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. That's coming up pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right, Barley, keep growing. If you can, when it's 